Hi everybody, I'm JJ. And uh, so this is going to be a little different video than what I normally talk about, but I recently decided to have our shower in our main uh, bedroom, master bathroom, uh, refinished. And it came out pretty good. Um, uh, overall, I'm pretty happy with the job, but there are some things to think about that you want to you want to um, consider before you decide to have this done. And this is what I'm talking about. So this is the main point of the video here is, so we decided that we wanted to put a new, um, you know, set of fixtures on since we had just gotten this all brightened up and everything. And, you know, the, the those parts are pretty straightforward and pretty easy. However, shower valve is pretty specific, a pretty specific type. So see those two mounting holes right there? So that's a Moen faucet from 30 years ago. Well, as you can imagine, uh, Moen has changed their bolt pattern since that 30 year time frame. And so now I have to replace the shower valve right here to fit the new set that we bought. And that means, that I had to cut out a hole uh, in the back here so that we can get to this. Now, normally this wouldn't be that big of a deal except for these are sweated joints. So you can't just untwist this here. Also, the new shower fittings come with male connectors, uh, male ends instead of female ends. So I think I've got a solution figured out with shark bites um, where I can do it and it shouldn't be that big of a deal, but it just, it turned into a pretty big project and I've got a little panel that I can put over here and all that kind of stuff. So that won't be that big of a deal, but it's something to think about before you get your shower finished. Like most people, they're not going to just put on the old, you know, the old hardware and stuff like that. And so you want to make sure that your new um, shower valve is going to be compatible, you know, with what you've got or whatever, and or make sure you can access the, the backside so that you can change the valve. Because in a lot of, you know, there's, this is a one piece fiberglass, it's built in builder's grade shower, and there's no way to take it out. I mean, you have to cut it out basically, and then it's ruined. So um, it's just uh, <laughs> it's just something that I didn't really anticipate when I started thinking about this, and it kind of turned this project turned into a lot bigger project than what I was uh, thinking that it was going to. But anyway, uh, the other thing to think about too is is that um, a lot of times on your um, on the upper edge here, you know, where you'll have some some water and stuff like that gather. When they tape that off to paint this, um, they some of the the paint may end up pulling up. So make sure that you've got some some paint that you can uh, match with that to uh, touch that all up and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, like I said, not a typical uh, type of video that we normally do on the channel here. Um, but I thought that it might save some people some hassle just to give them a couple of things to think about. Um, if you're going to refinish your shower, which I do recommend, it's a good, it did a good job. It's a, it's a nice smooth surface. Um, it's going to clean up a lot better than the old fiberglass cause it was starting to get kind of etched where it wouldn't clean up real good. And this, you know, it, it works real good and it looks nice. Um, but if you're going to put new fixtures on, make sure that you figure that out and make sure that you've you know, got access to it because if you, if you didn't, we, we were lucky that we have access to it, but, uh, if you didn't, it would be a huge pain in the butt. So anyway, something to think about. Take care guys.